Hey guys, it's Ex Machina again with another breakdown video from the Sunshine Suicides album. This track is called Waited For You. Now this was uh, one of my favorite tracks from the album uh, just because of the way that it sounded. Um, it was really just nostalgic to me. But we'll get right into it and just start going over all of the elements. Now if you haven't heard the track, definitely go check it out. But yeah, just to get into it. The kick and bass, again, are the same as what I typically use. We'll solo those. Just EQ'd a little different than normal. Now, it kind of sounds a little poppy, um, just because I actually have my mastering chain still going, just so you guys can hear it. I don't know why, I just mix really low, and then I just kind of bring up the volume using compressors and different things just so I can get a more processed sound but just keep that in mind it doesn't actually sound like that uh, once everything else is going so uh, okay so yeah that's the kick and bass now let's get into the leads again this is always the bulk of what I have uh, so let's just go from here so that's your roads then we have the sine wave And now you can hear that this is panned right and then left. Now on one of them, it has a few effects. The other one, it does not. This kind of gives you like this weird panning sound or this panning effect. So if you just like listen to it, it just sounds really good. So one is normal and the other one is not. So it just gives you like this really interesting dimension in the sound. And then we have the lead over here. And then we got the guitar reversed right here. You know, and then we have and then all together. You can already hear how it fills up the spectrum um, quite nicely there. So now moving on from the lead, we have the snares. Again, with the snares, I uh, keep it simple and then use super massive only. Now you you'll notice um, on some I, I might I might have not mentioned this earlier on some of my previous uh, videos, but the reason why I have two snares, one of them is actually twelve semitones lower, and it just gives you a more crunchy sound. This is the top layer here, and this is the bottom layer here. And so together, it actually gives you a nice clunk sound. And um, I really, really adjust the length of this utilizing the transients here. Um, so I'll make it in this forward mo mode. Not sure what it's called. But I bring down the transients length. Like, it'll just shorten it and it gives you that nice crunch. Hats, I use the same. Same hats as the other tracks. Keep it really simple on this one and just mess with the mix. Now, with the vocals, we have a few things. Uh, we have like an effect here. Gives it a dimension. Yeah. It's just vocals reversed and then length or doubled in length, uh, which gives those artifacts. And then with the vocals here. You know, and so that initial sound has the analog collapse, which continues for a little bit. And then that has analog collapse on it as well. Uh, 
All right, and now comes the signature sounds. Again, so we use tree tone for the bass sound, and then we will put effects processing on it, like frequency echo, and then really get these interesting sounds here uh, for transitions. I really don't even use much risers, really. I use like reverse crashes and stuff, but for the most part, all of this, like all of the risers are this, or is a sound right here. And then we'll have like a vocal up. You get the reverse sound, and then you have the vinyl noise. Yeah, so for the most part, like, this is exactly the same structure as all the other tracks. I like to keep it simple, keep it cookie cutter, uh, because if I have a process as far as, like, what I want in the track, it makes my creative process a lot faster. Like, these tracks are all made in, like, a day each. Like, I'll spend a day and I'll make one of these, um, because I know exactly what I'm going for. Like, I'll play with the sounds, um, and then, you know, I'll freeze and flatten everything and then really start to get into like the glitching and then once that process is over you know I'll start adding like the nice glitching on the drums and then from there we'll add the fun signature sounds and then from there oh signature sounds right here and then vocals sometimes before or after and then we'll do any excess like you know crashes or reverse sounds and then we'll have the glitchy vinyl noise to finish it off as always. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching.